What should the intro be? Let's not even have an intro and just totally throw everybody. No, they get mad when I do that. That's true. They get mad when we don't do juicy content and we don't do Instagram and Twitter. And, yeah, and then some people just hate it you all. Know, you know, yeah, it's true. <laughs> some people just hate it. Too. And then just one day, just, just see what happens. It'll be so mean. Just don't drop any videos with no explanation. They will be very upset. I would never do that to you. I feel so bad. Stupid Rex is idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Twitter on Juice Content. Content. And thank you for Patreon and follow us on our official Twitter account. Yeah, And Jesus. today, we are mm -hmm. reacting mm -hmm. to a stand up comedy. Sweet. Vira By us. Oh, good. I was going to ask you if it was anybody we knew. We didn't know. And this one is called Indians Are Racist Ish. So. <laughs> Alright. There's a. This one for, I haven't seen it, but yeah, it reminds it. me of the. Uh, do you remember the musical, uh, what's the one with the puppets? Uh, Avenue Q. They have a song called Avenue Q. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, everyone's, 100%. Right, everyone's a little bit racist. Everyone's a little bit racist. It's a yes. hilarious song. Very funny song. Uh, but uh, I'm, I don't know if that's going to be So I don't know. Is. is this going to be one of those where we're going to really, really laugh at, and funny? Or is this going to be one of those where you laugh really hard and I'm embarrassed and ashamed? I don't know. Fear Doss is hilarious. Let's see. This is his stand-up. It's not my No, I know. We just, it's one or the other. Here we go. See how offended I get. <laughs> That's a great, a broad understanding. That's a great title. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian people, we spend our lives claiming that we're victims of racism, don't we? But yet, all Indians back home. Pretty fucking racist. <laughs> Dichotomous field it happens everywhere, don't worry. Like feudalism and servitude in a curry. <laughs> like if a beautiful American girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, comes down to Delhi and is walking down the road because she's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Within two minutes, there will be two fat, balding, paunchy Indian men across the road looking at her like, Madam! <laughs> Hello, Madam! the dichotomy of that racism. While they are creeping her the fuck out, they are still calling her madam. <laughs> Great point. There is respect there. Great <laughs> point. Respect there. <laughs> Respectful catcalling. And look, like most Eastern cultures, our version of racism is what we adapted from what was taught to us. By the British. <laughs> happen in history, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's just the Great first delivery. intentional one, all right? Great delivery. Britain ruled America, they ruled Africa, they ruled the Orient. I feel like Britain must look at America the way Venus looks at Serena. Like, bitch, I trained you. <laughs> <laughs> you learned this shit from me. Love. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about racism, ladies and gentlemen, and I guarantee you at some point you're going to get uncomfortable, but hang in there with me, there's a good ending. All right. I trust you. So I was surfing in the south of India. A couple of different nationalities. Me, a couple of Brits, a couple of Aussies. Black guy named Marcus. As Marcus is holding his surfboard, walking down to the beach, he's stopped by a Tamil villager who says, Stop, 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 stop! You! You black! Blackie! Oh! No! Now hang on. Oh. This man then goes to his house, wakes up two sleeping children from their afternoon nap as they rub their eyes and says, See, 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 he black, blacky. Now I submit to you that that is not yeah, racism. Yeah, we need to find out more information. Yes, yeah. find out two in, two more information. Number one, there is no malice in that man's That's heart. There is why? fascination, there is curiosity. Yeah. And number two, this happened in Tamil Nadu. Where the villager and his whole fucking family are ten times darker than the villager. <laughs> and then the kids surround Marcus and they're playing with him and he's playing back yeah. and they're looking at his hand yeah. and looking at their yeah. own hand. Yeah. And they touch his hair and they touch their own hair. It is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Yeah, I bet it was. It is the most honest, simple, non-judgmental, naive way of acknowledging our differences. Acknowledging them because we are different, aren't we ladies and gentlemen? My hair is different, my skin is different, my color is different, my values are different. And it's okay to talk about that. If we just talk about the fact that we are different and acknowledge That's why beautiful. we are different, yeah. instead of pretending that nobody is different and still secretly thinking we are different, right. we might finally all be on the same page and be less different. Mm. 
Well said. He's hilarious and insightful. Yeah, love that. If you took that man out of Tamil Nadu and dropped him right here in the middle of New oh. York City, oh. he'd walk around in Harlem just going, you black black, you black black, you black black, blackity, blackity, black black. And when he got out of the hospital, so back, it's okay. He wouldn't understand what he has done wrong. That's because right. for him, political correctness is not a concept that he understands. That's right. Right? If there's stupid shit in your head, say it once. Learn, educate yourself, right. find out why it's wrong, never say it again. Right. Do you agree with me, yes or no? Yes. Good. So let's start tonight. So, white people, <laughs> I submit to you this. All Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Nepalis, and Sri Lankans, we all look the fucking same. Please, confuse us all you like. We are essentially the same people, it's okay. The only difference between me and a Pakistani person is increased musical quality and decreased life expectancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on Netflix. Uh, Too bad that was so short. Oh man, I, I love him. One, we've seen him in one film now. I know there's others that we need to see him in, but he's a hilarious actor. But the dude is so funny, but also it's almost like you're watching a TED talk as well. Right. Uh, which is what makes it so brilliant. Right. right. Like insightful comedy. Yes. Uh, which is, you know, there's all tons of brilliant forms of comedy. Yes. But that one is particularly unique. Yes. And uh, you don't see a lot. You don't. It's some of my favorite um, comics do that. Robin did that. Yeah. Adam Sandler does that. Mm -hmm. If you sit through enough Adam Sandler and you get toward the end of his stand-up and you get past all of his hysterically funny vulgar, I mean as vulgar as comedy gets, mm -hmm. he gets some really deeply poignant and he's just transparent and honest. I, I, that was that was really beautiful. Um, I, there, it, and what he said is absolutely true. I knew where he was going to go with that when the guy said, you know, Blackie and wanted them to come out. Uh, when, I don't know if you know this story, when we went to Papua New Guinea, we went to Papua New Guinea and we spent time, we spent four days visiting the Hula tribe, which was an extremely remote tribe uh, from Port Moresby, the main city. It's about a two hour drive into the, just the jungle. And we were at, at Hula, but we were gonna go to the Kalo tribe, which was about a mile from Hula. And the Kalo tribe hadn't had a white person there in a hundred years. The last white person to go to the Kalo tribe was a missionary that they killed and ate. And, Yikes. yeah. And the tribe had believed that the reason God never sent another white person to them was because God was angry and unforgiving that they did that to somebody. And they had this sense of deep, deep shame. Understandable. You shouldn't right? eat people. You shouldn't eat people. <laughs> but we went there specifically, and my beautiful friend, Pastor Magi, who's, he just recently passed away, whose heart was for the people in Hula and for Kalo. He had prepped them in Kalo and said months before we got there that we were coming. And they couldn't believe white people were coming to visit them. Mm. And so he was preparing us and saying, you know, when you're gonna be received, you're gonna be the first white people these people have ever seen in their life. And they've heard about God hates them because no white people come, but they come to Hula a mile away. So we went in and I will never forget it. All the little kids were being gathered by what is their school. And the teacher's talking to them, preparing for us to come and we're arriving. And I remember I started walking up from behind the kids. And right as I got up, I hear one of the little kids say, the white man. And I, and I walk up and they're just looking at me. And I'm, I, go, I go, shh, for them to be respectful to their teacher. And the one little kid, as I'm looking at the teacher and giving respect to the teacher, I see two, 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 two or three little kids, they're like eight, nine, ten years old. One of them's reaching up just to see if they can touch me. And they go, and right as they go to, I just happen to glance down and all three of them go, oh. And the whole time we were there, it was just this. Because they had never seen a white person. Wow. And that is clearly the same kind of a thing behind what he was saying oh, yeah. in regard to when that kind of thing happens, we are way too sensitive and politically correct. Well, and uh, it, of course it's different in India. <laughs> yeah, well, like, he, like he said. Yeah, in, in, and in, India has a very different relationship with racism than America has. Correct. 
Correct. especially with black people. Right. <laughs> so uh, obviously, when like when we are more sensitive towards that, that's right. that's the reason is because it, we have to be because yeah. it's it, we have a terrible history in America. Here in America, you say racism, and everybody thinks, oh, it's the black and white issue. Yeah. And Inst- that's all that comes to everybody's mind. One of the biggest, of course, yeah. issues, and obviously you should be respectful. But what he said was amazing, because a lot of people, like especially in the South, who are from, they like to say that they're colorblind, they treat everybody the same. That's not really what you need to do. All right. That's one. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> Everyone is different, right? Uh, and it, the differences are beautiful. Beautiful, exactly. And that's the, the, and you're allowed to see them. So if you make a mistake, learn from it. Right. Don't do it again. Don't exactly. complain that oh I can't do this. Learn from it. Yeah. Change it. Yep. And then you you know everybody can yeah this be is better for it. This is that's beautiful. why I love your dot so much. Like his stand up is one just some top notch up there with the best stand up people. But Great he's also comedy. So insightful. Like yeah. his be Ted stupid Talk. speech. Yeah. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I of. love the Beast Stupid speech. Yeah, it's one of the best speeches I've ever heard. Uh, but he, he's just—it's he, such a brilliant. I would love to sit down and talk to him. Yeah, he's a world changer. He's a guy who recognizes that his gift for comedy is something that can entertain and enlighten at the same time, mm-hmm. and he knows how to do both. He's—he's yeah. he's a really great, great, great. I'd love to meet, meet and get to know the guy. Yeah, it would be. Comedians are also some of the funnest people to sit down because. They're hilarious, but they're also usually some of the most insightful. In, insightful people. and intelligent. Because Incredibly they, they intelligent. They see the world differently. Yes. Uh, and so they, they're they just some they of the They think outside the box. People. They're also usually depressed. Right. Which is sad. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just because it comes with the territory of being that, thinking that certain way. Uh, and wanting to make other people feel better because you don't feel good. Yeah. That happens to a uh, lot of comics. I don't know if that's Veer Doss. Yeah, we're not saying that, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway. yeah. Let us know what other Veer Doss or what other comedians. We have reacted to some Kenny Sebastian. Yeah. It's gotten blocked. Hopefully it will be unblocked. We will see. Uh, but uh, let us know other stand-ups because we, we love stand-up and especially Veer Doss. We want to see him live.